Good evening from Expert Credit Sweeps. So Wednesday, I posted a video and then realized it actually didn't post. So didn't realize that until today. Um, so I am redoing the video. Now, a lot of people wanted me to uh, go over how to actually write the letters, okay? So um, I, I want you to know how to actually write effective letters by coming across as a real person. And to do that, you just need to dumb it down. Like, real talk, dumb it down. As dumb as you can possibly get it, because you don't want to look like a freaking business. You don't want to look like you've been studying the FCRA and, you know, it's just going to be frivolous, okay? So this is how you dumb it down. I'm going to give you a couple examples, such as bankruptcy collection, charge-offs, multiple accounts, late payments, and personal info, okay? So first one is bankruptcy. And where it says header info, you're going to put, obviously, your information, your date of birth, your social, your address, and then whatever bureau you're writing. So you don't even have to put your name at the bottom or anything. Remember, you are a real person and you just want to get this crap off of your credit report. That's all that matters, okay? So the dumber I've made my disputes recently, the better the results have been. So this is why I'm telling you to do this. Okay, so jumping right into bankruptcy. So this one says, I can't imagine what legal precedence you have that would allow you to report this. And that's where you insert whatever the docket number is. Um, I called the court and was literally told that they don't verify, validate, furnish, produce, et cetera, any public information with you guys. So technically, they're the original creditor and you need firsthand knowledge. Delete it and send a new report. I mean, just super simple. So these are when you just have like one type of dispute. I mean, you can put multiple ones, but I'll show you how to do a, a multiple dispute. So this is for collections. Aren't you supposed to have copies of my signed documents in a file there? Well, considering that I don't know what this, and then you insert the collection, is, I need you to send it to me. I sent proof of address so that you can mail it to me. Thanks for taking this seriously. I mean, do you see what I'm talking about? That it's just really, really, really dumbed down? Like, you're using everyday language. You're not saying pursuant to this and... Um, due to the fact that, I mean, you're, hence, therefore, I mean, it's just everyday talk, you're a real person, you're a regular old Joe or Jane, whatever, and you just need to get this fixed, whatever it is. So charge-offs are a little bit different, so I gave three different examples. So obviously, header info, once again. Okay, first one is, can you explain to me why this, insert account, shows the Iowa balance from what I understand, they write a portion off their taxes and then they get paid by their insurance. So why would I pay for it too? So they get double paid, delete this immediately. Or why would they, why would you be port, uh, excuse me, why would you be reporting a monthly payment of X on this charge off? You're literally throwing off my total monthly payments. Look, I'm not rich. So if a creditor pulls my report, they're going to see that I'm paying more than I actually am. And they'll deny me. You need to remove creditor insert. Okay. Or, You've had enough time to investigate this creditor one, two, three, four, five. So unless you can explain to me why it shows insert reason, then it needs to be removed. So the last one is going to be for, um, you know, if they say that, oh, it's been verified and blah, blah, blah. Okay. The other ones are your first disputes. So this is for multiple accounts. So you're telling me that you got on your phone and called each of these creditors and had them send you all my docs and you did a full comparison between what I'm saying and what they sent to you and you found that they were correct? I highly doubt it. These are unverified and need to be removed. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, that's where you put your accounts, okay? So another thing that you can do is, and I didn't put this on here, but oh, and at the bottom it says I'm waiting for a new report now. I mean, it doesn't say, please send me a new report. Thanks, name. I'm waiting for a new report now. That, that's it. You know what I mean? So another thing that you can do is just put a one-liner. You know, these are unverified and need to be removed. Put the accounts and then, you know, next to each of them put a reason. But you get what I'm saying, right? Okay. So late payments. This one is super simple. Creditor, one, two, three, four, five. I wasn't late on date. I need a new report showing that this is gone from the payment chart. Literally, that's it. Thanks. And lastly, personal info. Header info. These don't belong on my credit report. Incorrect name. I was never known by this name. Incorrect phone number. This was never my phone number. Incorrect address. I never lived there. Another reason for address, because that's the most important one besides name, of course. 
can be that, you know, this address belongs to someone that I know or a relative or, you know, that was just used for freaking employment purposes. I don't know, whatever, like you can, whatever it is, just make it make sense. That's really all that this is about. Okay. So once again, we had bankruptcies, collections, charge-offs, multiple accounts, late payments, and personal info. Now, the reason that I am making you dumb it down, and I'm not making you do anything, is that you need to come across as real, okay? Once again, you need to come across as real, and to do that, you want to dumb it down so that you sound like a regular person. Regular people aren't going to send a dispute that says, pursuant to section 609, you need to send me the paperwork that was filled out when this account was open because blah, 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 I'm going to take you to court and you have 15 days. And Cushman versus TransUnion from uh, you know 1997 states that Congress, you know, why are you going to say all that? You don't need to say it. Say, send me this paperwork because this account doesn't belong to me. Simple, okay? So... If you guys need help and you know you don't know what the heck you're doing or you don't want to do it because you don't have the time because you have a life, I mean, just make an appointment with me. Your first call is free, very simple, expertcreditsweeps.com forward slash book hyphen online. Um, and if you just have a question, post it in the comments. So that is it for tonight. Have a great evening and I hope you guys have a great weekend.